Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rates certified most accurate. Good evening to you. I'm Shell Ramin with a look at your flash briefing. DHEC announced Saturday there are 144 new cases of the coronavirus and sadly eight more people have lost their lives. With this new information, that means the total number of cases sits at more than 3,200 while 80 people across the state have died. But some good news to share with you, we're seeing major generosity come from Apple. Governor Henry McMaster tweeted out today that tech giant donated 100,000 N95 masks. South Carolina Emergency Management says the equipment will be passed out to all health care professionals and first responders. Over in the Tar Heel State, there are now more than 4,312 confirmed cases of this virus. They're also seeing 80 deaths in that state. Now this comes after Governor Roy Cooper extended the state of emergency ordinance. The earliest it will be relieved though is by the end of April. And Easter is tomorrow, but we're seeing some severe weather about to hit our area. I want to get to meteorologist Ben Dornbach. So Ben, when exactly is this going to start hitting for us? Well, it'll happen sort of in wave shale. We're expecting some on and off heavy rain throughout most of the day tomorrow. It's not necessarily going to hit everywhere all at the same time, but it will certainly be an active day of weather for sure. Definitely one where you're want, going to want to have some sort of a way of getting a weather warning, a severe weather related alert if one is issued for your area. For the time being, here is the latest from the Storm Prediction Center. Most of the Western Carolinas under a slight risk for Sunday into Sunday night with our westernmost areas in a level three enhanced risk for severe weather. So that's level two and three out of five so scattered severe weather certainly possible more so towards Sunday night during the daytime we also have the risk for excessive rain and flooding mostly in the extreme northern upstate north into the southern facing slopes of the western North Carolina mountains so some flash flooding as well as some river flooding possible in those locations I'll time it out for you on future cast we'll start the day dry but showers will gradually work their way in throughout the morning and early afternoon but as you can see noon onward is looking like the best time frame when we'll see rain pick up along and north of 85. So we'll have on and off heavy rain for most of the afternoon. Might have a brief lull here and there during the evening as well. We might have a stray, strong, or severe storm during that time, but mostly during the day Easter, we'll see it mostly in the form of rain. But heading into the overnight hours, the main line of thunderstorms really doesn't move in till after 11 o'clock midnight. So this is likely going to move through when most of us are asleep. So very, very important that you have a way of being woken, uh, being woken up by a severe weather alert. So after midnight, Sunday night, into early Monday morning. That's the best potential for seeing anything from large hail to damaging winds, which is the likeliest thing, and possibly even an isolated tornado or two during the late night Sunday into early Monday. We'll have continuing coverage throughout the night as well as on the 10 o'clock news this evening. We can also get the latest and the latest weather alerts sent right to your mobile device on the Fox Carolina News app. So stay safe and we'll see you tonight on the 10 o'clock news.